हेलो चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ साइंस क्लास फोर टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड लेसन फाइव एंड विल सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज ऑफ लेसन फाइव दिस लेसन विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉम्प्लेक्स नेचर ऑफ सॉइल कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ डिफरेंट लेयर्स एंड पार्टिकल्स to see different types of soil including sandy soil clay soil and loamy soil let me give you overview of soil the ground on which we walk is never quite the same it keeps on changing and sometime it is made up of millions of tiny sand particles it is hard and rocky surface other places have the ground covered with grass moss so soil is the thin layer of materials covering the earth surface weathering is the process where rock is dissolved worn away or broken down into smaller and smaller pieces there are mechanical chemical and organic weathering process so weathering is the breaking down of rocks soil and minerals as well as wood and artificial material through contact with the earth atmosphere water and biological organism so the materials left over after the rock breaks down combined with organic material create soil so big pieces of rocks are broken down by wind and water into smaller pieces till we get a fine powder this process is called weathering now let's see how soil is formed wherever the fine powder known as sand mixes with the remain of dead plants and animal called humus and mineral soil is formed and rotten plant and dead animals are called humus and it is dark brown in color and it is very good for the growth of plant soil is the thin layer of material covering the earth surface and is formed from the weathering of rocks it is made up of mainly of mineral particles organic materials air water and living organism so we can say that soil is formed by the combination of physical chemical and biological process in which huge rocks are broken down into smaller particles over a long period of time and gradually this crack cause the rock to break down into smaller pieces and with time the smaller pieces convert into particles and form soil the soil is defined as the top layer of the earth surface which consists of sand remains of dead plants and animals and minerals with some amount of water and air in it so as i say rotten plants and dead animals are called humus and it is dark brown in color and it is very good for the growth of plant now let's understand importance of soil as most plant get their nutrients from the soil and they are the main source of food for humans animals and birds 
most living thing on land depend on soil for their existence and as you know agriculture is one of the most important component of our society farmers and ranchers produce the food and fiber we use every day soil is a critical part of successful agriculture and is the original source of nutrients that we use to grow crops so soil is very important now let's understand composition of soil and soil particles a soil particle is a vertical cross section of the soil made of layers running parallel to the surface and these layers are known as soil horizons also even soil is made up of different types of soil particles like sand silt and clay so let's understand sand sand is the largest soil particle is made up of weathered primary rock mineral then silt this particle is smaller than sand particle but bigger than clay particle and clay particle are the smallest soil particles but other than this soil also contains small stones and pebbles called gravel mineral such as iron calcium potassium and humus soil also contains some amount of air and water now let's understand types of soil there are mainly three types of soil depending upon the amount of different soil particles present in it these are sandy clay and loamy soil this is the first type of soil and it consists of small particles of weather rock and this soil is one of the poorest soil for growing plant because it has very low nutrients and poor water holding capacity which makes it hard for the plant's root to absorb water and this type of soil is very good for the drainage system so this soil is usually formed by the broken down of rocks and this type of soil has a greater proportion of sand particles it feels rough and gritty and it is non sticky when wet and it doesn't hold much water and drains most of it now second type of soil clay soil this soil has a greater proportion of clay particles and it feels smooth when dry and lumpy and sticky when wet and it is the smallest particles among the other two type of soil and the particles in this soil are tightly packed together with each other with very little or no air space so this soil has very good water storage qualities and make it hard for moisture and air to come into it and it is very sticky to the touch when wet but smooth when dried now third type of soil this soil has almost the same amount of all this soil particles and it is the best soil for growing plant and it is rich in nutrients and humus and allows water to pass through easily now let's understand soil profile and layer of soil the layer of soil can easily be observed by their color and size of particles 
the main layer of the soil are top soil subsoil and bedrock and each layer has its own characteristic and benefits so we can say that a soil profile is a vertical cross section of the soil made of layers running parallel to the surface these layers are known as soil horizons the first uppermost layer of soil is called top soil and it contains fine particles of sand clay humus water and air so it is the upper and outer most layer of soil usually the top 5 to 10 inches and it has the highest concentration of organic matter and microorganism and is where most of the earth biological soil activity occurs so top soil is the top layer of soil in which all plants grow and it usually covers a layer of subsoil which in turn covers the bedrock and other layers then second layer of soil is subsoil and it is the middle layer of soil present below the top soil and contains broken pieces of rocks but the subsoil doesn't have high organic matter concentration but offers rich minerals for searching root system and it is varying in color like red and yellow then third layer of soil is a bedrock and it is the bottom layer of soil and is quite deep inside the earth and it has a large pieces of rock forming the outside layer of the earth crust is bedrock layer and this horizon lies beneath the top soil and subsoil to form pure rock now let's understand soil erosion the removal of fertile top soil by the action of wind and water is called soil erosion and it occurs in almost all type of lands flowing water rain water and the wind are the prime factor or reason which cause soil erosion even too much of soil erosion causes serious loss of top soil and also reduce crop production potential or capacity so due to soil erosion the soil becomes less fertile and the top layer of soil is very light which is easily carried away by wind and water so the removal of top soil by the natural forces like wind and water is known as soil erosion so when strong wind blow the top soil along with the organic matter is carried away or wash away by the wind and this happens more often when the land is not covered with grass or plant even when it rains in the hilly area the soil get wash away towards the plain so the running water carried all the upper layer top soil and thus soil erosion happens now let's understand soil conservation and its method protection of soil from erosion is known as soil conservation and there are certain steps that we can take to conserve soil 
so soil conservation can be done by planting new trees and plants as we live because plant live if the plant dies all living thing will also die thus wherever trees are cut down new trees should be planted and planting trees in hilly area are most effective for soil conservation even soil conservation can be done by crop rotation like between harvesting one crop and planting the next crop there is a time period when the farm land doesn't have any crop so during this period the farmer either grow grass or grows other crop to prevent soil from erosion and this helps the soil to conserve and to stop soil erosion even soil conservation can be done by building dams dams are built to prevent floods which not only damage the crops but also wash away the top soil so now let's understand fill in the blank with correct words first dash option s a n d sand another option s o i l soil m i x e s mixes w i t h with h u m u s you must t o 2 f o r m form dash first option s a n d sand another option s o i l soil so the question is dash mixes with humus to form dash so as you know after the process of weathering whether the fine powder which is known as sand mixes with the remain of dead plant and animal which is called humus and mineral soil is formed so the answer is sand mixes with humus to form soil now let's understand second fill in the blank dash first option s i l t silt second option c l a y clay p a r t i c l e s particles a r e r t h e the s m a l l e s t smallest s o i l soil p a r t i c l e s so the question is dash particles are the smallest soil particles so as you know soil is made up of different types of soil particles like sand silt and clay among these clay is the smallest soil particles where the sand is the largest soil particles and silt is smaller than sand particles but bigger than clay particles so the answer is clay particles are the smallest soil particles now let's understand third fill in the blank dash first option l o a m loam second option c l a y clay i s is t h e the b e s t best s o i l soil f o r for g r o w i n g growing p l a n t s plants so the question is dash is the best soil for growing plant so as you know loamy soil has almost the same amount of sand clay and silt 
This soil is the best soil for growing plant and it is rich in nutrients and humus and allows water to pass through easily. So, loam is the best soil for growing plants. Now let's understand fourth fill in the blank dash first option T O P S O I L top soil second option S U B S O I L subsoil I S is V E R Y very F E R T I L E fertile B E C A U S E because I T it C O N T A I N S contains H U M U S humus. So the question is dash is very fertile because it contains humus. So as you know soil has different layer like topsoil, subsoil and bedrock. The upper layer of soil which contains five fine particles of sand, clay, humus, water and air is called topsoil which is very fertile because it is rich in humus. So the answer is topsoil is very fertile because it contains humus. Now let's understand Fifth, fill in the blank, S-O-I-L, soil, C-A-N, can, B-E-B, -E dash, first option, E-R-O-D-E-D, -E -E eroded, second option, C-O-N-S-E-R-V-E-D, -E conserved, B-Y, by, P L A N T I N G planting M O R E more T R E E E S trees A N D and B Y by B U I L D I N G building D A M S dams a C R O double S across R I V E R S rivers. So the question is soil can be dashed by planting more trees and by building dams across river. So as you know that Trees and bushes should be planted in open lands because these particles doesn't allow the wind to blow full force and take away the topsoil. Even flowing water can easily wash away a lot of topsoil. So dams should be built across rivers to prevent floods. So the answer is soil can be conserved by planting more trees and by building dams across a river. Now let's revise and understand fill in the blanks with the correct words again. First dash option S A N D sand another option S O I L soil M I X E S mixes W I T H with H U M U S humus T O 2 F O R M form dash first option S A N D sand Another option S O I L soil. So the question is dash mixes with humus to form dash. So as you know after the process of weathering, whether the fine powder which is known as sand 
mixes with the remain of dead plant and animal which is called humus and mineral soil is formed so the answer is sand mixes with humus to form soil now let's understand second fill in the blank dash first option s i l t silt second option c l a y clay p a r t i c l e s particles a r e r t h e the s m a w -L, l e s t smallest s o i l soil p a r t i c l e s so the question is dash particles are the smallest soil particles so as you know soil is made up of different types of soil particles like sand silt and clay among these clay is the smallest soil particles where the sand is the largest soil particles and silt is smaller than sand particles but bigger than clay particles so the answer is clay particles are the smallest soil particles now let's understand third fill in the blank dash first option l o a m loam second option c l a y clay i s is t h e the b e s t best s o i l soil f o r for g r o w i n g growing p l a n t s plants so the question is dash is the best soil for growing plant so as you know loamy soil has almost the same amount of sand clay and silt this soil is the best soil for growing plant and it is rich in nutrients and humus and allows water to pass through easily so loam is the best soil for growing plants now let's understand fourth fill in the blank dash first option t o p s o i l top soil second option s u b s o i l subsoil i s is v e r y very f e r t i l e fertile b e c a u s e because i t it c o n t a i n s contains h u m u s humus so the question is dash is very fertile because it contains humus so as you know soil has different layer like top soil subsoil and bedrock the upper layer of soil which contains five fine particle of sand clay humus water and air is called top soil which is very fertile because it is rich in humus so the answer is top soil is very fertile because it contains humus now let's understand fifth fill in the blank s o i l soil c a n can b e b dash first option e r o d e d eroded second option c o n s e r v e d conserved b y by p l a n t i 
एन जी प्लांटिंग एम ओ आर ई मोर टी आर डबल ई एस ट्रीज ए एन डी एंड बी वाई बाई बी यू आई एल डी आई एन जी बिल्डिंग डी ए एम एस डेम्स ए सी आर ओ डबल एस एक्रॉस आर आई वी ई आर एस रिवर्स सो द क्वेश्चन इज सॉइल कैन बी डैश बाई प्लांटिंग मोर ट्रीज एंड बाई बिल्डिंग डैम्स अक्रॉस रिवर सो एज यू नो दैट ट्रीज एंड बुशेज शुड बी प्लांटेड इन ओपन लैंड बिकॉज दिस पार्टिकल्स डजेंट अलाउ द विंड टू ब्लो फुल फोर्स एंड टेक अवे द टॉप सॉइल इवन फ्लोइंग वॉटर कैन इजिली वॉश अवे अ लॉट ऑफ टॉप सॉइल सो डैम शुड बी बिल्ट अक्रॉस रिवर्स टू प्रिवेंट फ्लड्स so the answer is soil can be conserved by planting more trees and by building dams across river